Okay, what we have here today is the Sun Spider AT. This is new fat biker that I've just picked up this past week and wanted to get a little video done. This will be the second take. I actually already had uploaded a video, but I've noticed and had some comments from people watching it that it is blurry and I don't know whether to blame it on this Sony bloggy cam, which for a $200 camera I have had some issues with it, but also um, could have been the upload process or even YouTube itself. Don't know what to blame, but I'm going to redo here. But this is the Sun Spider AT. This is, as far as I know, the least expensive fat bike on the market. Now, if you're asking what's a fat bike, all I'm going to have to do is show you these tires. These are 26 inch tires that are 4 inches wide. And you can see these are the Innova tires that have been custom made for Sun for this bike. They do have, the, as you can see, a spider tread there. Innova, of course, is a less expensive company, and Sun had these tires made just for, the, just for their production. But the Sun Spider AT has a hydroformed alloy frame, as you can see, very nicely done. Those welds are smooth. Of course, this is machine welded, but the hydroformed top tube has a nice curve to it. The hydroform down tube has a very nice flare to meet with the head tube as well as down here in the bottom bracket junction it's widened and is very stiff which is required for a frame of a, a fat bike integrated headset and a chromoly fork now that chromoly fork and just so you guys can see I measured it. It's got three quarters of an inch clearance on the side, and it's an inch and a half on the top. So there is decent clearance if you had mud or snow. The fork, as well as the front hub, is disc ready, which in my riding, which I've taken it for about three short rides, if you're going to ride this off-road, which it is capable of, you're going to need a front disc brake. I already have an Avid Elixir on the way to solve that problem. And the reason is, you can see no front brake, all braking is handled by the Sturmy Archer two-speed kickback rear hub and its coaster brake. And we all rode coaster brakes as a kid, but if you think back, they're basically like an on-off switch. They either have no power or you stomp on the pedal backwards and you get a skid. Not great control, but if you're just going to ride it around town as a, a commuter, a cruiser, or a beach bike, that'll be fine for you as is. But for off-road riding, trail riding, throw on a front disc brake before you even head out. That is the Sturmy Archer 2-speed kickback hub that has a direct drive low gear. That would be just as if it was a single speed hub. And then it has 138%, which is one-third higher. And I have noticed it does make a difference because if you look close you've got a micro drive set up similar to similar to decent BMX bikes and much like a BMX bike it's got chromoly spline cranks with a very nice heavy duty CNC machined uh, sprocket there that front chain ring is a very heavy duty model I don't see any reason that I'm gonna have to replace this setup comes with a sealed 100 millimeter BB and a spline crank good to go right there Good custom color coordination, as you can see, the white and red of the, the lettering and the spiders coordinates well. You have the spider web design on the chain guard, and you also have, as you can see there, and there, as well as on the front, there are rack mounts, front and rear, as well as there are fender tabs. As you can see, don't know anybody who's going to make a actual, uh, you have to look down in here, right here. I don't know anybody who's going to make a fender four inch wide as of yet, but if they do, it's ready to go. The Sun Spider's got a BMX style handlebar, a downhill mountain bike stem, and it is integrated with some spacers. I'm going to move some of those down to the bottom. I've already found that it's too high for my taste. I don't quite like that choppered feeling. But I have some upgrades on the way, and I'll make a video once I get those on. But I'm going to ride this as is for about a week, 
get a good feel for it and then I'll do another video here in the coming one one week from now or two weeks just whenever I get all the parts in this is Mongoose Jake showing you the Sun Spider. If you have any questions about anything in particular, this is just an overview. But if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them and I will do my best to get back to you on anything specifically. But this is the lowest cost fat bike on the market right now. So that it will make it much more appealing to a wide, broad range of people. Again, this is Mongoose Jake and Sun Spider AT.